in a bold and forward-thinking move to revolutionize the agricultural landscape of Ghana, a powerful partnership has emerged, one that unites the corporate strength of MTN Ghana, the academic excellence of the Faculty of Agriculture at the University of Ghana, and the innovative support systems provided by d -Pharmacis. Together, they have launched what could be described as one of the most significant interventions in modern Ghanaian agriculture, a state-of-the-art horticultural agriculture center of excellence, and not just anywhere, but at the University of Ghana Farms. Before we dive deeper into today's update, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support is key to helping us grow and reach more viewers like you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exciting updates. A space that now promises to become a national beacon for youth empowerment, food security, and sustainable economic growth. The atmosphere during the official unveiling of the center was nothing short of electrifying. It was more than just a launch. It was a statement. A statement that Ghana's future lies not only in its minerals or its bustling cities, but also in the fertile soil that stretches across its regions. It, it was a moment that recognized the power of agriculture, not as a relic of the past, but as a force that, when blended with technology, innovation, and strategy, could become the backbone of the nation's development. At the heart of this ambitious initiative lies a core objective, to create jobs and promote local economic development by transforming how agriculture is taught, practiced, and perceived. The goal is to equip the youth, not just with textbook theories, but with hands-on, practical experience that mirrors real-world demands and opportunities. And leading the charge in articulating this vision was Ms. Adwoa Wiafe, the Chief Corporate Services and Sustainability Officer at MTN Ghana. With passion and clarity, she explained how this project was born out of a deep understanding of the pressing unemployment challenges facing Ghana's young population. According to her, it was time to see agriculture not as a fallback option, but as a strategic pathway to economic independence and national prosperity. She painted a clear picture of what MTN Ghana envisioned. Through a significant investment of 3 million Ghana sadis spread across two years, the project is set to transform the lives of at least 300 people in its pilot phase. But these are not just numbers. They represent lives that will be changed, skills that will be nurtured, and dreams that will be reignited. The center is designed to serve as a modern training ground where participants will not only learn about cutting-edge agricultural methods, but will also be immersed in vocational and practical education that makes them market-ready and confident. What sets this project apart is the collaborative spirit that underpins it. Professor Eric Nardi, Dean of the School of Agriculture at the University of Ghana, expressed heartfelt gratitude to both MTN Ghana and d Pharmacist for what he described as a game-changing support system. His remarks went beyond formal appreciation. They reflected a deep-seated belief in the power of practical training to transform agriculture in Ghana. Professor Nardi emphasized that at the University of Ghana, the focus is not just on academic excellence, but on preparing students to be problem solvers and innovators. The university's unique curriculum, carefully designed to integrate basic sciences, insect science, and value addition, creates a learning environment that mirrors the dynamic and complex nature of real-world agriculture. It is this comprehensive approach that gives the students a strong foundation empowering them to tackle agricultural challenges with confidence and creativity. Adding to the excitement was Mr. Charles Agimon, the general manager of DeFarmersist, a company known for its smart agronomic support services. He provided an in-depth overview of the project's structure and its innovative two-phase design. The first phase focuses on training, and it is here that the real magic begins. Participants will engage in intensive, hands-on sessions that include greenhouse farming and open field production. What makes this truly groundbreaking is that the training methodologies are not just local. They draw inspiration and techniques from some of the world's most advanced agricultural nations, like Israel and the Netherlands. These are countries renowned for transforming agriculture into a high-tech, high-yield industry. And now their expertise is being channeled into Ghana's agricultural development. 
but the training phase is just the beginning. After a month of comprehensive instruction and practice, participants will move into the second phase, commercial production. This is where theory meets reality. This is where the participants step into the world of agribusiness, working side by side with seasoned industry professionals. It's not a simulation, it's the real deal. They will get to experience the challenges and rewards of large-scale agricultural production, refining their skills and gaining the confidence needed to manage and grow their own ventures in the future. This direct exposure to commercial agriculture is a rare and invaluable opportunity. Setting this project apart as a true incubator of agricultural entrepreneurs. The buzz surrounding this initiative is not unwarranted. The audience at the launch recognized immediately that what they were witnessing was not just the beginning of a training program, but the birth of a new movement in Ghana's agricultural sector. The applause wasn't just for the speeches. It was for the hope that this center represents. It was for the vision of a future where young Ghanaians don't have to look abroad for opportunities. They can find them right here in the very soil beneath their feet. This project comes at a crucial time. With the global demand for food increasing and the need for sustainable farming practices becoming more urgent, Ghana is uniquely positioned to lead by example in West Africa. The country has the land, the climate, and now with initiatives like this, the human capital to make agriculture a pillar of national growth. The ripple effects of this center of excellence are expected to be vast stimulating local economies, creating value chains, encouraging innovation, and boosting food security. And beyond the economic benefits, there is something even more powerful at play, the restoration of pride in agriculture. For far too long, agriculture has been seen by many young people as outdated or unattractive, a sector with too many challenges and too few rewards. But the narrative is changing. With this initiative, agriculture is being rebranded as a sector of opportunity, technology, and innovation. The youth who walk through the doors of this center of excellence will not only learn how to farm, they will learn how to lead, how to innovate, and how to build lasting, meaningful careers. This collaborative uh, effort also sends a strong message about what is possible when institutions come together for a common goal. It shows that when the private sector, academia, and specialized service providers join forces, the results can be truly transformative. MTN Ghana's investment is not just financial, it's strategic. It shows a commitment to sustainable development, to education, and to national progress. The University of Ghana brings credibility, structure, and academic rigor. And DeFarmersys provides the technical know-how and the innovation needed to push the boundaries of traditional agriculture. As the project unfolds over the next two years, the eyes of the nation will be watching, and rightly so. The success of this initiative could serve as a model for other sectors, demonstrating how targeted investments, partnerships, and a clear vision can solve some of the country's most pressing challenges. From job creation to economic empowerment, from education to entrepreneurship, this center of excellence is a multidimensional solution to a multifaceted problem. In the end, the real success of this project will not be measured solely by numbers or statistics. It will be measured by the stories of the young people who walk in with dreams and walk out with the tools to achieve them. It will be measured by the farms that flourish, the businesses that are born, and the communities that are uplifted. It will be seen in the faces of youth who once felt hopeless and now feel empowered. The journey has just begun, but the destination is clear. A Ghana where agriculture is not just a tradition, but a dynamic engine of growth. A Ghana where the youth are not waiting for jobs, but are creating them. A Ghana that feeds itself, sustains itself, and prospers. And with initiatives like the Horticultural Agriculture Center of Excellence leading the way, that future is not just possible, it is inevitable. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.